So this is a turkey sandwich from Maggie's. I had them add bacon and sprouts. So it's bacon, turkey, cheese, sprouts, tomato, cucumber, tomato, cucumber, bell peppers, pickles, spinach, lettuce, onions. It's fucking crazy. So let's do this thing. I, don't, I can't fit this all in my mouth. Almost, almost did it. It's so freaking good. It's on six in between Coronado and uh, Rampart. If you're in the area, it's a 77. Pick it up. All right, everybody, how's it going? We were just on a live stream and we just talked about wanting to um, see me do this yoga 30 day challenge or however fucking many days it is. I'm trying to remember the name of the app. It doesn't say it right here. But um, in the stream, I was talking about how I don't have a yoga mat. So I need to get a yoga mat. I'm looking through this and I am going to do this thing called chair yoga for 30 minutes. I'm not gonna like do the whole thing so you guys can see it, but I'll like fast forward this shit as I go or whatever. Get into a comfortable sitting pose. Breathe oh, deeply. I don't like that. Close your eyes. Feel present here and now. Relax the tension in your Oh shit. Oh, that's cracking. The kills. I can feel that ripping, dude. That's tough. Good fucking luck, dude. It's a good thing I have big calves to hold my stupid foot up. I can't get up my thigh. What? It's gonna be hard. <laughs> oh, I can't do that with that leg. That's a problem area. The chair's gonna shoot out from underneath me. That was a happy baby. Breathe slowly. All through here, all through here, and my legs are burning. Oh. Day one, guys. Day one. Ah, so day one. Ah, here we are. 28 or 30 days to go. So this part of this, I don't really want to do. But I'm figuring if I'm doing this, like, body transformation shit, this is what you do. Okay? So this is what I look like on day one. Okay? And this is the side view of day one. So yeah, so if I could get all of this out, that would be like the most amazing thing for me. Because if I'm getting this out, that means everything else is filling out and like trimming down and shit. So this is it. This is what I'm looking like, okay? But hopefully this is motivating for me. And if it's motivating for you, great. But like me having to fucking do this and put videos of me up. So hopefully this will get me to fucking stick with it and shit. Okay. So thumbs up, everybody. Let's do this.
Okay, so we are a week in. I have done seven days of yoga and workouts and the whole thing. I don't really see a lot of physical difference here or sideways. Maybe I do. I'll put a picture up next to it and see. But I don't, I don't think so. Like, but I did lose 10 pounds, but then I gained two pounds back because I had McDonald's the other night. But that's probably water and that'll probably be gone by um, tomorrow. I'm feeling better. I have a lot more range of motion. Like you can't tell because I made the video so fast and stuff, but like doing things like grabbing my knee, touching the inside of my ankle, doing all of this shit, the first couple days that was almost impossible and um, by the end of the week it's super easy to do now. So I'm escalating my shit. The only other thing I really did was um, I'm drinking less alcohol. Not by choice but just because I haven't had alcohol to drink and haven't gone to the store to get alcohol. So um, I'm drinking less beer, probably the same amount of wine, but less beer, which is probably a good thing. It's so tasty on a hot day. Like I'm gonna go have a beer right now actually. But anyway, so yeah, so this is it. Week one, can't really tell anything, but I am losing weight and I have more range of motion. And I don't think the 10 pounds is right here either, guys. So any of you who came up with that fucking idea, nope. Updates on all this shit. Uh, Shaylin Marks is going to direct the documentary. And after some back and forth with all the parties involved, there were some things that came up that um, are going to be added to the documentary. And um, for members, I already did a video about this, but um, basically um, next year is the 20th anniversary of Creeperson, the horror punk dark wave band that was in. So, um, there is a good possibility that now in the documentary, um, we're going to talk about that a little bit and I'm going to record a new Creeperson album. Then, um, it turns out that next year is the 15 year anniversary of my most prolific year in filmmaking where I made like nine features. So, um, one of the producers on the project, um, is really pushing that I also make a film for the documentary and um, do it in this competition thing that I've done in the past and have that be a part of it where you have to make a movie in a certain amount of time and then like finish it and screen it. So we're gonna be doing that in the documentary now too. Then it turns out that next year is the 10 year anniversary of Black Star Canyon. So, um, I'm going to put together, um, we talked about this last year, I remember talking about doing this um, on a stream, um, a big giant hardcover complete Black Star Canyon anthology with a bunch of extras and shit like that. So that's going to be in the documentary. <clears throat> and then just for fun. Next year is the five-year anniversary of me writing The End of Everything. So everything comes full circle, and um, we're doing all this stuff. Um, there is also, like, oh man, this looks really good. Here, let's take a look at all this stuff. Hello. Hi, hello. 
Oh, that looks so good. It smells really good to you, papooses, dude. Fuck. All of those things are going to be included in the documentary, plus the um, big show that the whole movie is like building up to. I wonder if actually I can share um, Shaylin's like outline of what she wants to do. Maybe I'll do that. It's fucking brilliant. It blew everyone fucking away, dude. Um, so anyway, so that's going on with that. And right now I'm going to... Oh, there's some condoms on the ground. That's good. I want some books. Books and condoms. And they don't look open. I'm not going to be that guy. I'll leave them. So I went to Maggie's to get a sandwich for later. And I ended up with a apple fritter for right now. Oh my fucking god. I'm not going to be able to eat this whole thing. This is really big. Um, I also didn't go into the releases I did this week. Because this was kind of like... Well, over the last couple weeks, because uh, I don't think I talked about this before. So, um, let me... No, oh my god, no! Oh, fuck. I think my microphone's busted, so that's a whole other thing. Anyway, um, I put Abnormal Brain out, uh, my October chat book, and it's the beginning of November. But it came out on Halloween, so that's cool. Blood Rag 16? Yeah. The October edition is out now free on my website, ihatematwall.com slash the dash blood dash rag. And you can get all of the blood rags that are up there. And then plus I did the um, eBooks for Pharma Phoenix Rises, um, Poems About Fucking, 13 Miles South of Hell, and now Mart is up. So um, that is cool. So doing a bunch of shit and now I just have to <clears throat> read this section of Dangling in the Turn Forsha for the Bukowski Book Club and I will do a video about that here in a minute. everybody um just a quick little thing um i don't think i'm going to be making a video about this so i thought i should just put it in this since this is like the vlog thing but in that last clip i saw off to the side there was this the key to tarot no tarot so i thought i would just share a little bit of that with you guys um because i um got a new tarot deck and for those of you who don't know, I used to own a couple psychic websites back like 20 plus years ago. And one of the many jobs I had over the years was doing tarot readings and stuff. I would do it online. And then when I started bartending, I would take my cards with me and do readings at the bar and stuff too for people, which was awesome because drunk people are very fucking easily fucking amused so that was always good so i don't know i just thought i would kind of show off my deck it's like a rider weight deck but it's kind of antiqued so i really dig it a bunch there i am <laughs> and um yeah it's just like it's a beautiful deck and i've been doing a bunch of stuff and it's been really fucking cool to get back into this again and um do all this stuff so I've been really having a good time with it. And since, honestly, 
I am everyone's fucking, um, and I don't mean this in a shitty way, but like most people who talk to me, who call me, who like want to chat with me and stuff, I'm usually, uh, I don't know, the person people come to for advice anyway. And I sit and I listen to people's problems and like just be there for them. So I figure, why the fuck not? It'll probably help me out when I'm fucking <laughs> just shooting the shit with people anyway. So anyway, um, I'm just, I'm really stoked about it. Yeah. So that's just like another one of those little fun things people fucking do. Other than that, I guess that's it. That has been my week and some change. And um, yeah, so type hard, everybody. And I'll talk to you all later. Just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Creo and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.